Hello everyone, it's Connie here from MenuDocs and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be making some utility commands, lines of a ping command as well as an uptime command. So we're going to start off by going over to our commands over here and we're going to make a new folder and we're just going to name it utilities. So, and inside this, what we're going to do is we're going to write an uptime JS as well as a ping.js. Now we're going to start off with the uptime command here and we're simply just going to do const command equals and we're going to require the command class so we can extend it here. So we're going to have to go back two directories here. As you can see my Visual Studio code helping out. We're going to go into command and then we're going to quickly add a semicolon on the end. Now with the uptime command, because I'm not going to be adding any aliases or anything, we're only going to need the run function inside of this command. So we're going to quickly do module.export equals and we're going to obviously extend the command class here. And now inside that, we're going to go down two lines. I'm going to do async run, async run. And then we're going to add the message as the parameter because we don't need any args. So why add them here? And we're just going to simply do message.channel.send, add some backticks. We're going to do my uptime is backslash backtick. And now I think it's probably best to note that we should add a new module in here. So we're going to be using the MS package from the NPM registry. We do this dot client dot uptime, and then we're going to obviously get the long response, and that's what what we're going to want here. And then at the end, we're just going to add a backslash and then another backtick, not forgetting your semicolon and an extra space down here. So I forgot to write extends here. It is extends. Whilst we're up here, we're going to do const ms equals require, and then we're just going to require ms. Now, obviously, getting rid of all the ugliness here that we can get rid of, auto fix all. And then I'm just going to drag the terminal up here, and we're going to quickly do yarn add ms. So now that that package is installed, we're just going to drag this back down. We're going to head on over to the ping command. Obviously, quickly save that command here. Now for the ping command, we're obviously going to import the command class here. So obviously two dots going back. Then we're going to go back once again, structures slash command. And then that is that. We're not going to need any packages for this, which is really good. And then we're just going to quickly do class extends and then command. And then inside of this, we're going to have a constructor. And inside the constructor, we're going to do dot 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 args. And then obviously we're going to open up the constructor here a super inside the super dot 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 args and then we're going to add a semicolon as well as adding just aliases for this and we're just going to add uh, for instance we're going to add pong so without at, without forgetting to add our semicolons here we're just going to go down two lines and we're going to add async run inside run we're just going to have the message argument passed here and then we're just going to do uh, const message message equals await message dot channel dot send and we're just going to send, for instance, pinging with a dot, dot, dot at the end. And now that because we obviously async this run function, we can use a wait in here. And then we're going to do latency. Don't forget the latency. We do message dot created time stamp minus message dot created timestamp a semicolon now we're going to choose some choices here so we're adding some text in here and for instance well it's going to be an array obviously but for instance we can do uh is this really my ping question mark or like something along the lines of is this okay i can't look uh and then we can add uh, we'll just add a third one just for the the happiness of it i hope it isn't bad uh, we're going to add a backslash and then obviously another one of these bad boys and then add a semicolon at the end. Don't forget the semicolon. So response choices. We're going to add the array math dot floor math math dot random and then obviously time and I think it's just choices dot length and that should be that there. So this is where we get to the point where we are going to edit the message. We're going to say response. So because we're picking a response, we're going to add a dash. We're going to do bot late and see. And then this is just going to be latency MS. And then we're going to add a comma. We can do API latency. And then this should just say, oh, we should probably add these guys here as well. And now this, oh, and not forgetting to embed it here. 
and this one's gonna be math.round and then this dot client dot ws dot ping and then outside of here is gonna be ms and a backslash in that. So now these commands are done, we're just gonna quickly head on over into Discord. And obviously, whilst we're doing that, I'll play the Oxide Hosting advertisement. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. So now that we're in Discord, I'm just gonna quickly show you that the hello command still works. We're gonna add the ping. It's gonna show you the ping, and then we're gonna quickly do uptime, and it's gonna show you the uptime of the bot. Obviously, we can still do menu.js and then ping, for instance, and it will show me the ping. And we can obviously do the same with the uptime command. So that is it for today's video. I appreciate being able to get 50 likes within the first 20 hours of the last video. That's why you're getting another episode the day after. And I just want to say, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get more discord.js videos out and we've had a lot of look at our analytics. And it's looking like a lot of people aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you want the notifications straight away and you want to get these this code straight into your bot, make sure to hit that notification bell as well. Anyways, that has been Connie here from Menudox, and I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.